Hello everybody, today we're going to be discussing the Divergent movie. As you can tell, I've got my Tris Bird tattoo thing thingamajigger on. It's not real, don't worry. Anyway, we're going to be talking about the Divergent movie today, and I saw this on opening night, and then I saw it again on my birthday, which was on March 28th, and so I'm pretty ready to do this review. I've got all my thoughts processed and stuff, and I know exactly what I think. So we're just going to get started. By the way, I just want to say that this review will have many, many spoilers in it. If you haven't watched the movie yet, go watch the movie. If you haven't read the book, just just go do both, you know? You need to. Just, just go. Okay, so after I first saw the movie, I had just finished rereading the book, and that actually taught me a lesson. From now on, I'm not going to be reading the book right before I see the movie. I mean, I might, but not like right before, you know, because I was nitpicking everything. It was like insane. I was like, oh, this was different, and this was different, and blah, 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 blah. It was really annoying, and I was just all frustrated because nothing was exactly like the book. But if you haven't read the book in a while, then it, you're not gonna be like that. But after I saw it the second time, I realized how much I love this movie. I really wanna go see it again, and I absolutely loved it. Um, the music in it, the score is like amazing, and all the Ellie Golding songs. I am obsessed with the music from this movie. Uh, it's basically all I listen to these days. All the acting in this movie, you cannot deny that it was absolutely incredible. <sighs> Especially Shailene Woodley's acting. Hers was like, Amazing, making me sob every time she teared up. I started tearing up, and her mom died. Oh my gosh, her acting in that scene was so incredible. Like I was pretty skeptical just from like the trailers and stuff. I wasn't sure what I would think of her as Tris, but she nailed it. Everyone else, I thought uh, Theo James as Tobias was awesome. Uh, everybody was awesome. My favorite scene is pretty hard to pick. I love the entire movie, but my favorite part was. Probably the zip lining scene. Oh, it's just, oh, I loved it so much. And Veronica Roth was there. <laughs> they did change Capture the Flag and make it like not paintballs. They, these bullets that make you feel like you actually got shot for a few minutes instead of paintball, but that was not a big deal. That was like more dauntless. I did feel like they put a lot of emphasis on Triss, which I mean they needed to do because she's person telling the story in the book and in the movie, but I feel like they didn't really do enough character development with like Will and Al, for instance. Like when Al dies, you don't really feel that sad because you never really knew his character very well. Will was somewhat sad, even if you haven't read the book, it was still not like a huge, <laughs> you didn't really get attached to those characters. Uh, there was no visiting day. Uriah again wasn't there. He was on the scoreboard, but for everyone freaking out because Uriah isn't in Divergent, they already said that he's gonna be an insurgent. They just didn't put him in Divergent because he doesn't have a big enough role in this movie and they wanted to wait till he could have a bigger role in Insurgent. I feel like it really gave the same feel that's in the book. It didn't feel weird or different. It was it was very good and I just oh I love it so much. I wanna go see it again. Um on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would give it probably like 8.5 because there were some things that were lacking and some things that I wish they had put in. At the end, this isn't a huge deal, but this is just something that I really loved from the book. When Tobias on the window on the train and he's like, I think I might love you, and she's like, do you want to make a chart or a list or something? And it's just like, it's so good. Loved Christina's character. I mean, I loved her in the book, but in the movie she was even better. Oh, I loved when they were sitting at the table for their first meal in Dauntless, and they sit by four, and she's just like, Are you a chance? And he's like, Are you serious? Like, yeah. What makes you being in the top of That part was in the book, and it just killed me then, and it killed me in the movie. In the movie, um, the dad's death wasn't all that sad, because it was just like, you look over and, oh, he's dead. That's sad, but you're not gonna like cry like with the mom. I thought the knife throwing scene was done perfectly. I absolutely love that scene. When Triss is kicked out of Dauntless, even us book fans were just like, what? Because that did not happen in the book. Well, it, it kind of did, but then she got bumped back up because of the whole butter knife scene, which was in the movie, but apparently they filmed it. But anyway. And then I love when she comes on the train and she's just like running, and then Four helps her in, and Eric's just like, who let you out? And she's like, I did. Like, okay, I really like that part too. I don't know what it is. I just really like that part I do wish the Ferris wheel scene hadn't been cut short because that's like a very iconic Divergent moment and it was like didn't have the where like he four turns the Ferris wheel on and just to jump off and she almost gets crushed and all that sort of stuff That was really fun But 
that's not a big deal. Overall, I really love this movie and I can deal with the little changes that they made. My sister has seen it now and she is currently reading the book. She really liked the movie and my brother is reading the book before he sees the movie. Dad took me to the opening night and he really, really liked it and he wants to go see it again. My mom took me on my birthday and she liked it too, but she's just not a big action movie person. She liked it too. I don't understand the Rotten Tomatoes score. That's like the dumbest thing ever. It deserves way more than like 40%. But anyway, uh, let me know what you thought of the movie. I'm sorry this video was short. Um, my next video will be my Allegiant book review. <sighs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!